Yo, what's going on, 67 on the squad today? We're doing a ranked 1v1, and it is patch day, which means everything is messed up. So I'm going to teach you guys how to get GM before this bug is fixed, okay? First off, pass all of your bands and pick the latest game character you can huh. think of. Either Kronos or Kali or Bakasura or anyone, okay? This is a step-by-step -step of how to get GM by abusing one of the biggest bugs ever to be released into the dual community, period. Okay, period. So, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to pick the latest game character that you can think of. In my case, Kali. She's really, really late game. And um, quite honestly, not the strongest, but... When it comes down to the 20 minute mark, you're going to be fucking, okay? You're going to be fucking. And then you're going to want to go, you know, just a normal, a normal build that you would do, you know, in, in the everyday, in the everyday life of your, your character. Now, you might be thinking, Sam, I can see the title. What's going on? What's this respawn bug that completely breaks duel? Well... Let me show you, okay? I played a game on stream about an hour ago at this point. And it will be it will be patched very shortly because I have people working on it. I, I messaged some people and they're working on it. Okay. So, um basically no matter what time or what level you are no matter how long the game is or what level you are you always have a two to five second respawn timer no matter what no matter what so that's why you pass all your bands you pick the latest game character you can find because it doesn't matter how shit on you get early game because the respawn timers indicate the fact that only late game matters. It's a giant bug. I already have uh, Clumsy and Pon Pon and Ajax. I already told them all. Clumsy told me he took a clip from my stream and they're working on hot uh, hot fixing it and everything. So they already know. Um, so, you know, I did my part in showing them first. And now I'm showing you guys what to do in order to abuse this while you can. In order to win the game because like I said it legitimately does not matter what happens in the early game let me show you I guess I should show you what I'm talking about so I'm level 5 right right so I just I go for kills um you see his respawn timer he's alive okay so there you go <laughs> that fast he just you just, you just spawn in instantly. It doesn't matter. And you might be thinking, Sam, that's always how it worked, man. In the early game, you always respawned that fast. Yeah, but it, you see, the problem is it's not an early game thing. It's an all game thing right now. You always spawn in between two to five seconds. Depending on how far ahead you are, how far behind you are, it doesn't matter. Like, look, I'll let him kill me. I'll let him kill me. Here. Oh, that's unfortunate. If only I could respawn fast enough. Oh! Would you look at that? Would you look at that? I killed my speed buff and then fought him, died, and can still pick up my speed buff before it goes away. With a lead, by the way. Like, he didn't have enough... He didn't even have enough time to kill the wave and do red buff. After killing me at two and a half minutes in. It's such a big bug. And it it's it's the most broken thing. It's the most broken bug that has ever been in Smite. Period. Period. Now Hi-Rez did want to change the respawn timers. They were going to lower them down so it's less dependent on what level you are and more dependent on how long in the game you are. And I, while I do agree with that, uh, they fucked up. 
they messed up something fierce. I don't know what they did in the coding, but um, it, yeah, it, it's it's big bad. All right, just kill them. Five second respawn. Three and a half minutes in. So it, it's weird, right? That that one minute into the game when I killed him, and three and a half minutes into the game when I killed him, it's the same exact respawn timer. <laughs> I played a game um, on stream where where I learned this this bug from this Bakasura was he just passed all his bands locked in Bakasura and was just abusing this bug as hard as he could, which basically just meant um, he was actually a fan of mine. He was he was doing it because he wanted to show it off, which is what I'm doing right now. So you know, shout out to him. I'm not mad at him at all. Um, I'm actually I appreciate him because he. You know, he showed me the bug. But basically, it was 14 minutes in the game. 14 minutes in the game. I was Poseidon. He was Bakasura. I killed him 12 times. I had Bull Demon. I had minions at his Phoenix. And I killed him three times within that little Phoenix push. And I still couldn't get his Phoenix. Because no matter how hard I pushed him in, he would respawn so fast to the point where... It wouldn't even matter that I had Bull Demon or anything because he was spawning so fast. He would spawn faster than Waves would spawn, basically. So I couldn't get his Phoenix because I had to win. In order to get his Phoenix, I had to win like 26 fights in a row, you know? Like, it just was impossible. It's crazy, man. It's absolutely crazy. And it goes both ways. For anyone losing or winning the game. It goes both ways. So like, look. I'll probably die here, right? Okay. Five minutes in, I died. That kind of sucks, but I'm back. He couldn't even clear the wave under his own tower. Fast enough to like get the red buff before I before I got there. You know, it's so insane. This bug. I'm like, here I here I am. Here I am already. It's absolutely insane and like I said, Hyrus is patching it, so thankfully um Clumsy told me he he was in my chat. He told me it was just a bug, and um, that they're gonna get a, a, get it worked out. And thank God that they respond so fast. Honestly, big ups to Hires for like within the first match I played of duel, I hit up Hires and I was like, this is not okay. I showed them the clip, and they were like, yo, that's fucked up, bro. And then now they're fixing it. So big ups, big ups. Very nice of them. I don't need to back because if I die, honestly, it's just as fast as backing, so. Which is why I say you should always pick the late game character, by the way, because backing is basically just as fast. Like, dying is just as fast as backing. Actually, dying is probably faster than backing. This will help us all. I'm going to get the new Golden Blade because I just want to test it out. This video is not really about anything other than the bug, though. But yeah, it's uh, it's absolutely insane, this, this, this issue in the game. Now, now that we're like, we're like seven and a half minutes in, right? So I want to try to show it off a little bit more. Alright, just killed him. Seven and a half minutes in, five second respawn timer. I killed him under his own tower. I can't even clear the wave before he spawns. Crazy, right? Absolutely crazy. And I'm just doing this because I, I really want to show everyone, like... This will help us all. If you want to get a high rank right now... Pass all your bands and just pick the most late game character. Because 
it doesn't matter if you like pick Scotty or um like Heimdall or whatever because it's all just about the late game. It's not about cuz when dying early normally it matters cuz they can get like buffs and objectives and shit, right? But it doesn't matter anymore because I mean if you die they don't get anything off of it, you know? I couldn't even run to his wave before he respawned. So yeah, it's just, um... <sighs> Pass all your bands and pick late game characters. That's what it comes down to. You want to win the game? You want to get some MMR? That's the game plan. Shit. Yeah, well, that's a surrender. I don't know why he surrendered, but... Abuse this bug for free GM while you can. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.